It's a rigged system. And they take these lies and they put them on front pages. This is a rigged system, folks. How concerned uh, are you about this? Not at all. Uh, neither is Mike Pence, who is the second highest ranking official of the Trump campaign. Neither is Paul Ryan, if you believe his spokesperson, who indicated he had confidence that this election would be conducted. Uh, fairly. Well, I got a news flash for you. The president's press secretary doesn't speak for me. You know, they're not worried. They're not worried about it because they deny it's happening. I'm not worried about it because I know the American people are not going to let it happen. It's an insult to American voters and it's an insult to county registrars to say that America doesn't know how to run an election. We Talked about talk about a rigged election today. That's where the focus has been. What does that mean? How does it impact this race? Let's bring in our panel out here in Vegas. Syndicated columnist George Will, Leslie Marshall, syndicated talk radio host, and Charles Hurt, political columnist for the Washington Times. Okay, George, thoughts? Well, when Mr. Trump talks about it being rigged, he sweeps all his grievances into one big puddle. He talks about the media. He talked about the primaries. He talked about the polls. Talked about the Republican. National Committee. I think when most Americans hear that an election's rigged, they think of government action to rig the election. And there, Mr. Trump has a point if he would just make it more clearly. It is hard to think of an innocent reason why Democrats spend so much time, energy, and money, scarce resources all, resisting attempts to purge the voter rolls, that is, to remove people who are dead or otherwise have left the jurisdiction. It's hard to think of an innocent reason why they fight so tremendously against voter ID laws. They say, well, that burdens the exercise of a fundamental right. The Supreme Court has said that travel is a fundamental right. No one thinks that showing an ID at the airport burdens that fundamental right. We know, we don't surmise, we know that the 2010, 12, and 14 elections were rigged by the most intrusive and potentially punitive institution of the federal government, the IRS. You can read all about it in Kim Strassel's book, The Intimidation Game. She's familiar to all Wall Street Journal readers and Fox viewers. So this is not a surmise, and I have talked to lawyers in a position to know they say it's still going on, that the IRS is still intolerably delaying the granting of tax-exempt status to conservative advocacy groups to skew the persuasion of this campaign. All right, Leslie, you look at the uh, average. We have an average poll called the Special Report Average. Uh, Hillary Clinton up 8.4. These are recent, the last recent five polls that we trust. Um, there were some state polls today that suggest that it's very tight in mm -hmm. Ohio, here in Nevada, North Carolina. Uh, your thoughts on the state of the race and this effort by the Trump campaign and Mr. Trump to, to say that the election is rigged? Well, the facts don't bear that out. I think in the past 14 years, with approximately a billion votes, you have, what, 35 instances of fraud. I think on a, a bigger scale, two things here. I think some voters, even some of his supporters, look at that as almost throwing in the towel and setting the groundwork for what he's going to say after he loses. In other words, if you're losing, if you're talking about rigged, you're, you're losing. A, a, exactly. Why else would you be talking about that? You would have confidence in, in the system. And I have to say, I'm not surprised that these, that these uh, battleground states are very close. If you look historically over the past election cycles, presidential election cycles, the country's been almost split 50-50. And, and that's the way it is right now, especially in a state like Ohio. I expect Trump to win Ohio, quite frankly, where you have such a strong blue-collar worker presence. But the difference here is that Hillary doesn't need four of these strong battleground states to win, and Trump does. I, I, I have to say that some of the states were very encouraging for Democrats for the first time since her husband was president, Arizona, as an example. But when you're talking about rigged and you're talking about we can't let people out there rig an election and some people are concerned what that means when they go to vote. Are people going to intimidate them when they get out there? Is somebody going to try and stop somebody's vote? We've recently seen violence, which is just terrible. Uh, whether yeah. it, Whatever side it comes from, uh, at the end of the day, no. The stats just don't bear that these elections are rigged. I think it makes you look like you're, you're hurting and you know you're going to lose the race. I'm not surprised that they're tight, yeah. and uh, and she's but she doesn't need, for example, Ohio. He needs it to win it. She does not. She needs to. I mean, he needs to run the table. Um, Charlie, he's firing up his supporters, trying to 
tamp down hers, I guess, stra strategically. Yeah, and, and trying to make sure that every single uh, one of his supporters does show up and th that they don't uh, give up because, you know, the, the media has done a very good job of uh, making it seem like Hillary Clinton has already won and it's all over and everybody go home. Uh, going back to something that George said that I think is uh, so true is that, uh, you know, that, that Donald Trump has always done a very, he kind of rolls all of his grievances into one thing. And I think when he talks about uh, the system is rigged, uh, the, the election is rigged, I think he's talking about a much broader sort of scattershot shot uh, charge against uh, Washington, against politicians, against media, Clintons, against the media. And, uh, and what I think is striking about that is the fact that, my gosh, there are millions of people out there who feel like, you know what, actually, what he's saying is true. It is rigged, and it's rigged against me. And, and he's speaking for those people in a way that nobody else has. And all of this is happening with the backdrop of the whole WikiLeaks stuff that is revealing the, the most horrible things about the Clintons and the, the Clinton campaign. Um, and, and it really does sort of underscore the notion that, well, gee, it is kind of yeah. and I will say that the the part about Russia, George, is concerning, that Russia is believed to be behind this hack. You talk to any U.S. intelligence official, they'll say that that's what they see. But it's also the substance that, that's inside. And the FBI documents today, is, it's separate from the emails themselves. Those are actual FBI interviews about this quid pro quo allegation and other things. Yes, and that was described uh, by the State Department spokesman as interagency, what do they call it, exchange. And I'm sorry, that's Orwellian. I'm a big boy. I know that the bureaucracies deal with one another. But this was one bureaucracy trying to influence a criminal, potentially criminal investigation by another. My question is, was the FBI agent who was offered this quid pro quo proposition, did he report it to the FBI? Yeah. Does this break through, do you think? Are Democrats worried about this, Leslie? I think they'd be lying if they said that they weren't. But then again, I think it depends which interview summary you believe. Did the FBI say, hey, by the way, you know, we want to have some guys over in Iraq um, after the fact. Um, was this, hey, this is what we want. And remember, the classification was not changed. Uh, this is what we'd like, and we can do this for you. Uh, that's obviously very unsettling, if in fact that's true. At the end of the day, I think those that support Trump are going to believe the first narrative. Those that support Hillary Clinton are going to believe the second. We will follow all of it and apologize. We're fighting the sun here in Las Vegas as we are uh, dealing with the setting sun over the strip.